In this video, I'll show you how to download 5M on PC and then go and install it as well. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. And once you have subscribed, please go and leave a like as well. I really do appreciate it. So I'm showing you the full guide of getting 5M. It's basically a modification for GTA 5 and it adds a lot to the games, a lot more sort of servers and so much more to it as well. Make sure you watch right until the end of the video so you know all the steps required and let's go and get into this. So as you can see, I'm now on my desktop and let's go and get straight into this tutorial. So there are a few things I wanna get over um, before we go and get fully into this um, because there's a sort of a few settings and other things you need to know. So the first thing we need to do before going and downloading 5M is ensuring your current GTA 5 is up to date and just fully installed. Some people have said before I've seen um, it's not working and that's maybe because you haven't even got it properly installed. So just make sure it's fully working and just run it um, and just make sure it's fully up to date by going onto the Rockstar launcher and checking that out. So now we've covered those things, the next thing you want to do is go and open up an internet browser. So here we go, I'm gonna come on to Chrome and then come to a search engine, I'm using Google, and all you want to do is simply search for 5M. Now do keep watching, so I'm showing you the correct download site and then how to go and get it set up. Search for 5M and then you want to come to 5M.net. Click here and as you can see, it says this is a modification for Grand Theft Auto 5, enabling you to play multiplayer on customized dedicated servers. So all you want to do is you can go and check out some of this stuff here, um, but you want to go and hit the download client, okay? The download client is basically the software. So click download client and you need to go and read through this. So I'm gonna go and, go and read through this and uh, then I'm gonna catch up with you then. So I just read the terms of service. It goes and includes some rules and some other important information as well. So do make sure you go and read through it. Then I'm gonna go and click sure, I agree if you do, and then it's gonna go and drop the download. So as you can see, that downloaded quite quickly because it's essentially a launcher, it's then gonna go and do a few more downloads. So let's go and click on it. We may get a security pop-up, we may not. Um, so then I'm gonna close off this page. And as you can see, it's now updating 5M. So this is 211 megabytes. And this download will vary depending on how fast your internet is. Luckily mine's been quite fast right now, but I'll catch with you once it's fully downloaded and we can go and get into the next step. And then it's gonna go and start verifying the game content. So essentially making sure all of your GTA 5 files are correctly there and up to date. So I've just had this pop up here saying game data outdated. It says the local 5M game data is outdated and needs to be updated. So I'm gonna to have to go and download this and it's gonna do it for you. So I'm gonna click yes, and then it's gonna go and update the game cache for you. Um, so we'll just continue to wait. This is nearly a gigabyte, but we'll just have to continue to wait. So that just finished and it's now disappeared and it's now starting 5M. So it may sort of disappear for a bit and just be your desktop, but now it's going and doing the launch. So we'll continue to record this just so I can show you what it is. So it's now going and launching it again. And here we go. So we've got this pop up here. Just wait a minute as the first time launch may be a bit slow um, because it's the first time it's being done. So it's gonna go and launch the Rockstar Games Social Club because we need to go and log in. As you can see, it says a Rockstar Games Social Club account owning GTA 5 is required to play 5M. So therefore I'm gonna go and type my email and password in and then go and continue with the tutorial. So I logged in and then it's just gone and disappeared and hopefully we're gonna go and get into the next step. So I've just had this Windows Defender firewall um, because it's using our network. So I'm gonna go and click allow access and then we'll go and just wait a minute for it to load. It may take a bit of time because obviously it's installing stuff uh, and now we'll wait. So now it's analyzing game data. So we'll just continue to wait as it's making sure we've got GTA fully installed. And here we are on 5M. So here is the big play button, which I'm gonna go and cover in just a minute. I just wanna go over the other controls. Here we've got supporters, history, favorites, a bit of a community tab um, and 5M official. And then we've got the settings. So click here and you can go and change some different settings as well. Um, I haven't actually tested these out much, um, but I know you can go and change your player name here. Then let's come back off this. I'm gonna click back on um, the 5M home button up here in the top left, and it takes you back to the home. As you can see, it says play GTA 5 story mode in 5M. Um, so it's just a bit different. Then you've got the replay editor, and then at the bottom, we've got the interesting stuff. So start a server, so you can go and rent a server. Uh, you've got host a server, you can make some mods, and you can contribute to the project. So what we want to do is go and click on play, 
and then it's going to go and load a ton of different servers so if you've got say i think a private one you're going to go and get um given an ip address which you can go and directly join but then we've got all of these servers here as well so you've got role play servers and there's so much um as you probably already know about it and there are so many servers you can go and join as well and you can also apply on other websites as well and you'll get given sort of private ones so yeah there's a lot of stuff to sort of do within 5m and it's really awesome and yeah as you can see there are a ton of game modes as well so you've got zombies and we've got cops and robbers so yeah guys i hope you do find this video useful if you did please go down below and hit the subscribe button leave leave a like for more content just like this i'll catch you in the next one peace